All right. Talk to Haro. Let's get some ice cream. Let's get some freaking it's ice cream. A terrible idea. It's a great idea. Katsuharu is a very important person plot. This yes. is a terrible idea. <laughs> Why are we seeing okay. Katsuharu? <laughs> Why are you making me do the Katsuharu again? Because it's a great voice. Yeah. It was terrible. <laughs> Listen to the music you get. There you are. Terrible. I wasn't sure if I was going to find you from the description you gave me. <clears throat> Well, this corner is where I do business. You could have asked anyone and they would have told you where to find me. I see. Now, what would you like for your ice cream? Well, uh, what do you have to offer? <laughs> what I have to offer? As for the main dish, I have <laughs> ice cream gelato, frozen yogurt, frozen custard, <laughs> Sandwiches, popsicles, melorini, sherbet, cold taffy, snow cones, and hello hello. What the fuck are you doing? I'm just so happy to tell you all these words. <laughs> but yeah, I have no idea what hollow hollow is. Melorine. Uh, I'm actually curious about that too. Got it. <laughs> Got it. One hundred percent. Got it. Imitation of ice cream using fats other than butter fat. It can be made from both animal fat and vegetable fat. Huh. Huh. And then what's the other one? Uh. Halu. Halu hollow. H a l u h a l o. Also, so I'm actually super curious about this. What is it? Halu hollow or halo halo is a popular Filipino dessert with mixtures of shaved ice and evaporated milk to which are added various ingredients, including boiled sweet beans, coconut, sago, gulamon, tubers, and fruits. That sounds disgusting. Sounds good. Sounds good. That's right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't know. You know what tubers I'm, are, right? Well, you know, Potatoes. I yeah. What? I, I think that oh. I might need the you know, more than one try to get used to a uh, potato flavored shaved ice. Uh, but, you know, I don't think it actually tastes right. like potato, guys. I also need to look up sago <sighs> and gulaman. Oh, sago guess. is like, it's a starch extracted from the spongy center or pith of various tropical stems, especially that of this thing that looks kind of like a pineapple. <laughs> but it's not actually a pineapple? I think so. And All then, right. oops, sorry. Gula. Gulaman. Gulaman. In Philippine cuisine refers to the bars of dried seaweed used to make jellies or flan, as well as the desserts made from it. All right. Wow, this is really educational. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no more. <you> know. <laughs> <laughs> What's a double cone? It's, a, it's two cones. Double cone. It's a double cone. What the CBS carries you know what I see? Double, one of those before? No. I, I never asked what they were called, but yeah, I've totally seen them before. I have literally never seen this before. What the fuck? Who made that and thought, yes, this is a sound physical object? <laughs> Look at that. Look at that piece of shit. Like, what even goes in here? Both flavors? Can you get some strawberry with your mint chocolate chip? This is not how I saw this scene going. What the fuck? <laughs> Um, where were we? You're, you're, you're lying. You're lying. Right. Stuff insanity. Oh, 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 and for sides, <coughs> for you waffles, sticks, pretzels, cups, wafer cones, cake cones, sugar cones, chocolate coated cones, double cones, vanilla cones, chocolate covered waffles, chocolate covered pretzels, <laughs> vanilla sticks, vanilla <laughs> pretzel <laughs> waffles, Cones? Yes! And cone coated okay. waffles. Okay, you all make sure you get a popsicle in a double cone. Go. <laughs> no stick. <laughs> what? That wasn't even an option. Yes, it was. Was it? It was. He, he's. Oh, he I does mean, have popsicles. Okay, okay fine. Popsicles. <laughs> okay, fine. Uh, <laughs> that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of variety you have there. And, uh, a lot of enthusiasm for your craft. Uh, <laughs> well, it's good to love what you do. And I haven't even started on about the toppings. Now you know why I have to keep dragging this big cart everywhere. Oh, goddammit. 
<laughs> oh, fuck, I have to remember Bryce's voice. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm sorry, but we're closed. You don't look closed. But we are. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? I don't know what's happening, but I'm oh highly amused. <laughs> I really want to Look, buy. Rice is jelly, okay? Rice is super jelly. Huh? Uh, I really want to buy an ice cream, though. Please, it's really hot, and I'll pay you twice as much. I am sorry, we're closed. Can you at least tell me when you're going to be open? When I feel like it. Now, off you go. Sorry, I think the ice cream doesn't exist. But do you, in fact, have any cheese at all? <laughs> 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 Katsuhara waved a claw dismissively. Off you go! <laughs> Artists. Sheesh, whatever. I'll, go, I'll just go and jump into a lake or something. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> why, why, why did you come here when you're closed? This is just my spot. It has been for a long time. I'll open for those pesky customers later, but right now I have a guest to entertain. I see. How long have you been doing this? I've been in business for over 40 years now. What does your brother Oh, wow. You see, I'm this town's only real ice cream vendor. Oh no, he's starting so crazy. Sure, yeah. you can just go into a store and buy any pre-made ice cream nowadays. <laughs> but it's just not the same. My customers know that. They love my ice cream. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what? it's actually drugs. gelato place on Castro Street, you know, you stand in line for like 15 minutes to get gelato sometimes, because there's only one person working there, and you could go across the street and get something at the frozen yogurt place, but it wouldn't be as good, so you don't do that. Exactly. <laughs> Alright, don't worry about it, Tim, you're doing this absolutely perfectly. <laughs> it's it's fantastic. I, I think I'm this is our, this is our best episode <laughs> yet. Yes. Oh, God. <laughs> you're fine, Tim. You're, you're doing great. Oh, Greg, where were we? Still your line. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> where were we? Of course, I don't just sell it. I also do ice cream parties and catering. Ice cream parties? Only for very special occasions. The townsfolk would <laughs> really like your ice cream, then. <laughs> oh, yes. Business has been wonderful for decades. Lately, though, everything just seems to be going down. Maybe it's because you're never open. Why is that? Every day, less customers find their way to me. If I don't sell everything, things start to spoil, and I have to throw them away. I never had to do that before. <coughs> maybe you need to open up earlier. <laughs> Maybe he needs to stop getting stuck in ditches. <laughs> yeah. He needs to stop turning away people who want to buy ice cream. If it keeps going like this for much longer, I might have to face the reality of bankruptcy. I was planning to retire in a few years, but I can't. Not like this. <laughs> it wouldn't be nearly as bad if I hadn't also lost all my savings recently. I was going to ask him about that. Oh, oh no! What happened? <laughs> you found so sincere. I'm so sincere about this crazy old man. <laughs> well, I happen to be an avid player of a game called Mahjong, and it just so happens that sometimes people play it for money too. Is there a God, you're a fucking dead. Why not? <laughs> no. Because this old dragon <laughs> is the a ice cream artist, artist uh, gambled away his life savings on Mahjong. That is why he has a sock on his hand. Just remember, 
You picked this scene. I, I, I. You decided you wanted to go get ice cream. Alex <laughs> picked this scene. We all agree. <laughs> or at least some of us agreed and nobody disagreed. It was the same thing, basically. I silently protested. <laughs> no, no. Silence is affirmation. Silence is consent. <laughs> you uh, lost all your life savings by gambling? That's the funny thing about gambling. Sometimes you win and sometimes you don't. You gotta know when to hold up. Sometimes you win big and sometimes you lose all your savings. That's just how it goes. I see. Um, how did you decide to become an ice cream vendor, uh, anyway? <laughs> 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 Well, you read the line, story. you know what's happening here. <laughs> <a> long story. <laughs> I have quite a history, human, so I hope you're prepared. Uh, well, uh, I am an ambassador, so if you have a story to tell, I'll, I'll listen. As you wish. As you wish. Oh, thank God, they're gonna skip it. <laughs> I have very fond Not memories of my childhood. When I was little, we had a confectioner in town who offered all kinds of specialties, from cookies and sweets to cakes and chocolates. The owner was a kind old dragoness who made everything that was sold in her shop with her own two claws. Her confectionery was always very good, but it was her ice cream that was truly exceptional. Even as a small child, I could always taste the difference. Even when my peers didn't care, and proclaimed one ice cream as good as the next. As I grew up, I came to a fundamental understanding about people. There are those who are content with the lowest common denominator, and those like me who could appreciate the finer details in expertly crafted things. I talked with her when I heard of her plans to retire to see if someone else wanted to continue running the shop or if she had taken in an apprentice. But, to my utter dismay, I learned that was not the case. You see, she was kind of the humble person who didn't think of herself or her wares as special in any way, so she never felt the need to preserve them. I realized that without my intervention, her art would have been lost forever. I begged and pleaded with her not to let this happen. But she insisted that I had vastly overestimated her skill. It was not until I ran out and brought her some of the store brought pulp they dared to call ice cream that she gave in and agreed with me. As a creator, she of course had never felt the need to buy some for herself when she could just make her own. And after only eating her own wonderful ice cream for all these years, it had just become ordinary for her. She had never realized how exceptional it truly was. Even though she was already at retirement age at the time, she took me in as an apprentice to teach me the fine art of confectionery. Is that the right confectionery? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I was her student for a few years and learned the basics of many the different recipes, but unfortunately she passed away before I could learn the secrets to her particular For the next couple of years, I traveled from city to city, trying to find her relatives or confectioners of a similar caliber in order to find the last ingredients of her recipe. Shut up, airplane. Hmm. The airplane says no, you shut up. <laughs> I don't think the, I don't think the airplane can see you flipping it off. Yeah, it's kind of broke in the way. Okay. <laughs> Going from one disappointment to the next, I finally tracked down a distant nephew who remembered her from his own childhood. Even back then, her ice cream had apparently been very popular in the family. He was very happy to hear that she was able to fulfill her dream of owning her own confectionery. However, after he told me that the recipe was the confectioner's own and that she had never divulged it to anyone else, I had to realize this was a secret she had apparently taken with her to the grave. Nowadays, <laughs> oh, people tell me that I've surpassed her, 
What they don't know is that the different recipes I use, all the varieties I offer, came to be when I tried to recreate her recipe. I never succeeded. Just look at the number of different ice creams I sell. People tell me how impressive that is and how they're all wonderful. They think it makes me better than her. But she only ever sold a single flavor, a single variety. She never needed anything else. Because that one flavor was perfect. I can only ascribe my own success to what I learned from her. Of course, this corner is not the only place where I sell the ice cream. I also have my own spots in the surrounding villages, but even out there I can slowly see the influence of the cities taking over. Trouble is, nowadays people just don't appreciate the art anymore. They only care that they can eat, and not about what they can eat. They are too quick to settle for what they can get from the local supermarkets. Ugly, mass-manufactured pulp! Gah! <laughs> you know, some of those companies have approached me before. They want to buy my recipes, but I won't let them ruin what I have by making it cheap and easy to produce, like the stuff they sell. My ice cream is only what it is because I still make it myself with my own two hands. This is the way it's been, and this is the way it's always going to be. You mentioned that you're retiring in a few years. What's going to happen then? Do you have any students who will take over the business afterwards? The dragon gave a big sigh. <sighs> I wish. I had a few students who want to learn the art, but they all gave up sooner or later. Why is that? I may be very forgiving, but the recipes aren't. Some steps require manual labor, and people don't expect the harsh conditions that come with the job. Many apply only because they know how successful I am or how much I sell on a hot day. But they don't see all the work that goes on behind the scenes. I see the same influence of the cities corrupting the youth of today. They are lazy and seek instant gratification. Those damn motherfucking millennials. I'm going to make the recipes easier and cut corners. But I won't stand to compromise. <laughs> Artisanal ice cream. <laughs> 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 yeah, but millennials are also killing it. Mass produced ice cream because they only buy artisanal ice cream at Whole Foods. Right. Oh yes. Artisanal free range. Artisanal <laughs> free range. Uh, cruelty free. <laughs> Cruelty free, cruelty free, vegan fed, non GMO, <laughs> hand spun, <laughs> spun hand. Oh. <laughs> uh, safety hazards 101. Do not, do not place your hand near any moving parts. It's actually a different name for the kinds of like hazards. Uh. <laughs> Where were we? Um, <laughs> going crazy. If there's no one willing to learn, appreciate, and preserve the art, it will tell me there is no desire for my ice cream in this world anymore. Let them have their cheap stuff. That's all that they want. I'd rather take my recipes to the grave than let the big companies have them. I have a grandson who might be my last hope. Unlike others, he was always interested not only in eating my ice cream, but also in learning what it took to make it. In a year or two, he'll be old enough to be my apprentice, if he so desires. I am not sure if his interest will still be present. Even if it is, I don't know if he'll be able to brave the hardships that come with it. But I have hope. However, that's talk for the future. I have much more pressing problems right now. Like what? 
You see, this area used to be the popular spot for people to come meet each other. But ever since <coughs> Matsu Park opened, it's not worth it to come to my corner anymore. The store is closer now. Maybe you shouldn't count on people seeking you out. You should try coming to the people instead. That's what a cart is usually for, right? Have you tried moving it somewhere else? Moving? Well, that's what the wheels are for, right? <laughs> <coughs> but this has been my stuff for the last 40 years. It's always worked out great for me. Except recently. Considering it's not working out so great right now, maybe it's time for a change. The dragon raised the claw to his chin, his expressing expression telling me that he was deep in thought. <laughs> I guess I really don't have anything to lose at this point. What do you propose? Go park your cart outside the garment building, make all the garment employees fat. <laughs> <laughs> and then maybe they'll give you a permit to actually sell in the, in, in the garden because they like your ice cream so much. <laughs> I'm not sure how I let you convince me to come here when this is the place that's that stole all my customers from me. I don't think that's the right way to look at it. Adapter get left behind. The world is ever changing, and you can't stop that. You have to find ways to deal with it, or else you'll be left behind in the past. It's too easy to just blame the change and be done with it. You shouldn't really be so quick to give up, you know? If all my customers know that the other corner is my spot, how are they going to find me here? Word of mouth. I think the people who will buy some ice cream will spread the word. You think so? It's summer. I'm sure there are tons of people around who'd like to buy an ice cream right now. Hey, Bryce. <laughs> well, if you think you can sell ice cream better than me, then please go right ahead. What do you usually do? What do you mean? Well, what's your usual sales tactic? I don't need to do anything special. People always used to come to me. During my best times, I'd wait for my arrival in lines and I'd be sold out in minutes. I see. That may have worked before, but these times call for different measures, I think. We set up the cart at one of the busier corners. Once it was ready, we only needed to get the word out. Ice cream! Ice cream! Ice cream by the one and only Katsuharo here in Tatsu Park. Get some while supplies last. <laughs> it didn't take much to make the people in the vicinity take notice. The first customers arrived quickly. Of course, everyone recognized Katsuharo and loved his ice cream, but they also commended him on his new location. Others, however, were attracted by me. The human that was generally under police protection, openly selling ice cream, gave people plenty of excuses to come over for a short chat. Soon, people were flocking to the cart as word got around of the human selling Katsuharo's legendary ice cream in Tatsu Park. Oh, my goodness. Uh, is this a... Is this a, a boy or... Yeah. Are you sure? There's eyelashes. That's a girl. Yeah. Okay. Hang on, I have to put on my glasses. <laughs> Could I get one of these, please? Of course! One ice cream for my favorite art student. That's why you wear a bandolier of how paintbrushes. Did you, how, how did you know? I've seen you around. Besides, your accessories kind of give it away. So stop sassing over my lines. Huh. Oh, okay. I need some ice. My colleagues are dehydrated from working in that heat. <coughs> how many cups would you like? Let's make it ten. Alright, here you go. Ten cups, plus one extra, just for you. Thank you. I'll make it count. I just realized you just did both those voices. They were so different, I didn't even realize it. <laughs> yeah, I, I was gonna deal with the voice, but you jumped in first. Right. <laughs> what was this do? <laughs> Business was I, I had to get my vocal cords ready. <laughs> Business was booming, but it wasn't until a certain person showed up that things were about to get serious. Oh, God, God damn it, oh, fucking favors! Oh, it's uh, worse! Uh, it's worse! Oh this bitch! <laughs> well, this is interesting. Uh, the m minister. Yeah, I'm not here. <laughs> what do you think you're doing here? Me? I, I I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just talking about the unpermitted I, <laughs> I, I, selling of food. 
I I'm not here. I don't know what you're talking about. This you is can't some... see me. <laughs> I'm over there. <laughs> well, uh, what does it look like? It looks like you're selling ice cream, and since I personally know Katsugaru, I know that it's exquisite ice cream at that. Uh, not a bad guess. I don't want to tell you what to do, but if the Trade Commissioner finds out about this, I won't hear an end to it. He'll probably be blathering about unfair competition and abuse of your status. I wouldn't mind his complaints, you know, but since I am in charge of your visit, it's all going to come back to me, and he's going to want an explanation. I just wanted to help Katsuharo. That's all. Bitch. I mean, ma'am. <laughs> help him? Is he in trouble? <coughs> Alas, the human speaks the truth. Ever since the opening of Tatsu Park, my business has been plagued by drought and become forsaken like a desert. Well, it's not hard to see why you kept staying at your own spot when you were set tap. <laughs> it was long as I get to come here. And it was a good one. You don't look like you're having much trouble here at all, my friend. Yes, I will have to admit defeat on that front, but in hindsight, all successful ideas look like good ones. <clears throat> my friend... How come you never told me about any of this? I could have arranged something for you. I was sure you had more troubling issues yourself than taking care of a businessman who should be able to take care of himself. Well, I won't stand for this town's only ice cream vendor going out of business. With this new location, I don't think you'll have any more trouble. But in order to resolve this little situation here right now, I think I'll have to go with a different solution. You want to sell some ice cream, Zoni? Then I'll just have to buy the rest of your inventory. <gasps> Minister must be very hungry then. Or very hot. Maybe both. What? Why do I sound like freaking gold? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Minister must like my precious. <laughs> I'm sure the other employees in my building will appreciate a little something to combat the heat. Would you mind if I borrow this cart for a while? Otherwise, I'm not sure how I would go about transporting it all safely. She's gonna break the wheels off. <laughs> not at all! Just let me know where I can retrieve it! Of course. <coughs> well, that was interesting. This could have hardly turned out better for me. I can already feel the excitement of my glory days returning to these old bones of mine. Sounded like you two knew each other. Indeed. I have served her ice cream since the beginning of my career. Talk about a long-time customer. And a good one, too. I know she not only has enjoyed my ice cream out tradition or necessity, but also due to an appreciation of the finer arts. She is a connoisseur, like me. <laughs> and she bought the whole inventory. Yes, but don't just see her as a big spender. She is a true patron of the arts. Do you like her? Hot old lady. Huh. How dare you say something like that about her? She is a muse, an inspiration. Her lifestyle embodies the philosophy of my art. Oh, it sounds like a yes. Dear. <laughs> and you ask if I like her? Pa. I see how it is. <laughs> anyway, I guess I should be thanking you for the help. Um, again. There's uh, no need for that. I'd offer you some more ice cream. But I'm afraid we're all out for the day. Thank you, actually. Uh, actually, I uh, didn't even have one earlier. No, you did not. What? Yeah, that uh, customer you didn't want to serve interrupted us, and now Emma took the rest with her. Oh, you're right. Guess what to do this again? What a great damn. shame! You sold all my stock, yet didn't get a chance to indulge in the luxury yourself. It's, it's no big deal. You know, you could come by next time when I'm in town again. 
Now that you've saved my business, I'd let you eat all the ice cream you'd want. Thanks. Well, maybe not all of it, or else I might go bankrupt again. Yay, we got an achievement. Artisan. I bet you actually getting ice cream in this game is an achievement. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my no, god, no, what the hell? Oh shit. Oh. oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh... 